Hi, welcome to Real Mom Reactions. I am Mom, and I love to watch and react to TV shows and movies. Today, I'm going to be watching Bloodhound Season 1, Episode 7. It is the second to last episode of this series. And let me tell you, at the end of the last episode, I don't know if you guys watched the, uh, the video, the reaction video, but if you haven't, go back and see it, because I cry through like more, most of it. It just tore me apart. Um, all my favorites died. I kind of knew it was going to happen because everyone was so happy at the beginning of the episode and everyone was planning about the future. We're going to take this trip together and we're going to do this and that. And I was just like, oh no, this is never a good sign when the good guys start making plans and everything's happy because that's when the other shoe drops. And I knew it was happening. I really didn't expect um, everyone to pass away. I really thought Harabuji was going to last until the last episode. Um, but man, they just killed off all the all, all the old guard and um and my poor Wujin is like in the hospital like in he's in surgery and he's like dying and um my poor Kanu is like trying to give all the blood in his body to save his life and that's how we ended it it was on a cliffhanger i have no idea if Wujin's going to live or not he better or i'm going to be very upset this episode i have a box of tissues ready just in case but um but yeah that's where we left it um basically it's only the three of them left and Konu's mom, who is, thank God, safely at the orphanage. But literally, the good guys have been cut down to um, Konu, Wujin, and Hyunju. And, um, oh my gosh, like, like things are dark now, right? It looks like the bad guys are winning. And um, it seems like to me the only way they have a chance to beat Kim young -il is to get that thumb drive. And they need the, the rich guy's help, the Chebor's help, uh, Inbum, Minbum, whatever his name, Minbum, I think his name is. Um, they need his help, obviously, because he's in trouble. He's being blackmailed by Kim Young Il, and um, you know they they need help. It's only the three of them, and they don't have a home. They're homeless. Hanabuji's home is in flames. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to these guys. It, but they have to wrap it up. This is the last second to last episode, and they have to wrap everything up in two episodes. So let's get started. And three, two, one. Let's go. 잠시만, He's gonna be okay. He's gonna be okay. like two minutes in. Shit. <clears throat> oh, no, where'd she go? I don't know where she go. Did she go to the chapel? That's where I would be. I would be praying and praying and praying really hard. Oh no, she's outside. Okay. Don't make him worry about you. He's so stressed as is. Where's she going? She has nowhere to go. She's got no home. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, now he's going to cry. Okay, too much crying. My poor babies. Oh, where did Hyun where did Hyun go to? She's got nowhere to go. What's going on here? <laughs> I love how I just put it right next to his ear. <laughs> Is this like six months after or something? I'm so confused. What's going on? Are they training? Where's Hyunju? Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, you know, I can appreciate that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so he's obviously back to normal and they're training up and... Wow. Wow. What's that? <gasps> oh, the driver! He's still alive. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh, 
개 죽음이야. 예, 아니다 좀 만듭니다. 기사님께서 저희를 왜 걱정하시는지는 잘 아는데요. 아는데 왜 말을 안 들어? 저는 김명길이랑 싸워서 이길 수 있다고 믿습니다. 사람 현주? 기사님이 이 편지를 열 때쯤이면 저는 로마에 있을 거예요. 할아버지가 주신 돈으로 작은 숙소를 잡았어요. 김명길 자꾸 다 같이 로마에 놀러 가자고 할아버지랑 약속했는데 제가 다 망쳐버렸어요. 근데 여기 있으면 할아버지 생각이 나서 견딜 수가 없어요. 어디를 가든 할아버지가 떠오르고 눈물을 멈출 수가 없어요. What about the boys? What's that? <웃음> Whoa, that's a lot of money. 사장님이 남겨주신 마지막 비상금이야. 갖고 올라가. 내가 내 생각으로 너희들을 가두려고 해서 미안하다. 제가 돌아왔을 때 테이프가 뜯겼거나 다시 붙인 티가 나면 경찰에 신고할 거예요. 왜요? 저희 속옷이 있으니까요. 아, 아, 아 절대 그럴 일은 없어요. <웃음> Who is she? She's just an Airbnb host. 아, 현관문 여는 카드랑 할아버지가 렌터라고 한 척해요. Is this really Mr. O's granddaughter, or is she really just an Airbnb host? 방금 오 기사님한테 할아버지라고 하지 않았어? Yeah. 응. 손님인가 봐. 아, 닮았네. 그러고 보니까 어? 아담하고 안경도 쓰고. <웃음> 명동에 있는 사치꾼들 중에 형님처럼 스마일 캐피탈에 털인 사람이 엄청 많다니까 그 사람들 모아서 힘을 합치하는 거죠. 난안 되겠다. Scared. 이거 잘못되면 나 진짜 죽을 수도 있어. 어쨌든 난 절대 안 껴. 난 돈보다 내 목숨이 소중해. Okay, Kano looks completely different with his hair parted like that. Okay, I almost didn't recognize him. That's why I didn't recognize him in the first episode, like first part of the episode when he was waking up. Oh my gosh, where? Come in. Oh, it's the Marine guy. 내가 채권을 한달 안에 회수해 오지 못하면은 총에게 절반을 내가 물어낸다. 그렇게 좀 힘들어하고. <laughs> he got screwed too. 선배님 혹시 사장님 얘기 들으셨습니까? 무슨? Oh, he didn't know. 사장님께서 김명길한테 당하셨습니다. <laughs> 우리 사장님 왜 죽냐고? 우리 사장님 왜 죽냐고 이 새끼들아? <laughs> 그날 좀. 터프하게 해봐. 어떻게 일단 존댓말 나오고 근데 형, 저 사람 딱 봐도 마음은 너무 보였어. 내가 반말하고 싶어. Oh my gosh. Oh, he can't even be rude to a bad guy. 김명기를 잡고 싶으십니까? 저희가 도와드리겠습니다. 씨발 이 새끼들한테 뭐야 또. Did we just DM him on Instagram? <웃음> 우리 지금 다 솔직하게 까놓자고 만나자고 한거 아닌가? 아 이렇게 사소한 것부터 발을 빼면 우리가 그쪽으로 어떻게 믿어? 그쪽도 우리가 필요하니까 만나자고 한거 아니야. 아, 잘 먹네. 와우. He is chugging that thing down. Damn. Oh my god. <웃음> Even Wujin's impressed. What the heck? Is he gonna outdrink them all? <laughs> that would be really funny if he did. Totally backfired on them. <laughs> 강경이 형이 경찰청에서 컴퓨터 고수 한 명을 데리고 와서 김명길 핸드폰을 해킹한 다음에 그 금고에 있는 하드를 다 태워버리기로 했어요. 이번 주 금요일에 김명길이 아이그룹의 계약서 서명하러 올때 그때 하기로 했고요. 누가? 형이요. <laughs> the best way to eat lamb is piping hot, right from the. Pot that made it, right? It's the best. Something's gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen. 
Min Bum's gonna try to stall and he's gonna figure it out. He's gonna be like, why are you trying to keep me here? And then all the shit's gonna hit the fan. That's my prediction. That's my prediction. Come on, come on, come on. Do it. Scan it. Click OK. okay. Yes. OK. Good. Yes. <gasps> he has a second phone. 형님이 계약서에 도장 찍기 전에 영상 먼저 지워 달라고 그냥 딱. Oh, that's smart. 그럼 김명길이 핸드폰을 꺼낼 수밖에 없잖아요. Come on, man. Man up. Let's go. 형님, 저희도 따라 들어가겠습니다. 형할수 있어요. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay. Okay. <gasps> They're burning everything? Come on. This is your fault. No, no. I'm going to get rid of the phone. So I'm going to get rid of the phone. So I'm going to get rid of the phone. Oh, it actually worked. I really thought something was going to happen. 지금 이 상황에서 경찰이 김명길을 놓치면 김명길 그 돈이랑 금괴 받고 해외로 바로 튈 거야. 그럴 수 없지. 그돈 사장님 거야. 준비하자. 끝까지 쫓아가서 무릎 죽여 버리자. Cool. Yeah, don't go in. He's gonna be so pissed. Oh! That's his mole in the police. Wow. Okay, so a lot of things happened in this episode. It kind of had to. It flashed forward. I don't know how many months, three, six months. They didn't even tell us how much time flashed forward. I kind of understand why Hyunju went to Rome, because that's where she, you know, planned to go with Hanbuji after everything was over. But, you know, I can, I can understand how everything in Korea reminds her of Harabaji. And, um, you know, but I did miss her. You know, I kind of wish she had kind of been in on this whole, you know, planning and trying to get Myungkyul down. Like, as much as I, I understand that she's mourning her Harabaji, I think her personality, or at least the personality that was shown in, like, the first, you know, six episodes or whatever, like, she would be the type that would want revenge. So I'm kind of surprised that she's not with the boys um, plotting the revenge. You know, obviously, I think it was realistic that the other loan sharks did not want to get involved. Even though they lost money, they know that Smile Capital and they know that Kim myung is like, you know, if he crossed them, that he, they, he would die. That basically, he would kill, you know, whatever. So it makes sense and it's logical that obviously the Chebul, the heir, would be the one that would be the one to help him, right? Help them. And I was surprised that everything went according to plan. I honestly didn't think that it was going to happen. I really thought that Min Bum was going to screw up or something. Like, he was going to get found out. Like, he would be sweating too much. And then Kim Myung-gil would be suspicious. Be like, why are you trying to stall for time? And da 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 You know, like that kind of stuff. Like, I really thought it was going to go that typical kind of route. But I'm really happy it didn't. I'm really happy it actually worked. And now we see the consequences and then everything's going to wrap up in the next episode. So I'm really glad it's not going the typical trope route. It, it was just being lazy writing and expected. So I'm glad that took me by surprise. So good job, writers. You, you got me. I seriously thought it was going to go one way and, and it actually, you know, worked. So, so I'm glad. Um, and Min Bum grew some balls, which was nice to see. <laughs> so, which was good. Kanu looks completely different now. I didn't recognize him in the beginning when we were, you know, flash forward uh, the three or six months or whatever, when he was waking up, because of his hairstyle or whatever, he looked completely different. And damn, these boys are built! I mean, like, Kanu looks like so much bigger than he did, like, in the beginning. Like, he's bigger, like, wow, okay, so these boys are built and they're ready to fight, and I like that. And um, it's, I'm so happy Ujin is alive and safe, and I'm really happy that these boys have each other, and I just love, I love their relationship and their bromance, and 
I love these two innocent souls and I hope that nothing happens to them in the next episode. So that's my hope. So yeah, we only have one episode to go. Let me know what you guys thought of episode seven. And if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, and comment below. I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.